discount for returning the car earlier, but he also didn't expect to pay more, and that's exactly what happened. Budget charged him an extra $500. He returned the car early. They could have rented it out for an additional day. They could have made more money. Instead, the way they chose to make more money was by charging him $500 more, which is absolute and total crap. Travel expert Christopher Elliott calls this one of the oldest car rental tricks in the book. He said weekly car rental rates are cheaper than daily rates, so if you break the weekly contract by returning the car early, rental car companies may bump you up to the more expensive daily rate. So they're well within their right to recalculate the rate, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's a bunch of nonsense. I don't care what they say. That's just wrong, and it's illogical, and it shouldn't be legal. It shouldn't be legal at all. So don't try to be nice to a car company. Don't try to be nice to budget rental car. Just don't do it. They're not within their rights, but they're going to screw you over anyway. This guy was lucky because it was a really egregious example of this kind of thing, and the media got involved, and he got his $500 back. But, you know, they're going to keep that money whenever they can. Unless unless somebody puts up a big stink about it, like this guy did, going to the media. And it does say they could do this in their uh, agreement, which is ridiculous. They shouldn't be able to say that. They shouldn't be able to make a contract like that. So just watch out for them. Be reluctant to do business with a company like this, and be wary If you need to return a car early, expert Elliot says, ask them to honor the price you agreed to pay. I would say don't do that. Don't expect honorable behavior out of a big company. Assume they're going to try to screw you over and act accordingly. That's my advice from me, Beowulf Rockland here at Face Palm America. Someone who, as you probably have been, has been screwed over one too many times by big companies trying to extract wealth from them. I want to thank Ace Elson and Rosabelle Hine for producing this podcast. Please give us a call. If you have, as Ken Ray did, comments on my review of Killers of the Flower Moon or anything else I say here on Facepalm America, you can call or message at 202-656-6271. And until next time, enjoy the day.